Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the previous video, we adventured here into Rustboro City, and in today's video, we'll be tackling the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym, featuring the leader, Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. That's right, it's time to rock out. Probably a bad joke. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled, then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but they can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Pokemon gyms are standard challenges here in the Pokemon games. There is usually a puzzle of sorts and some gym trainers hanging out. Gym trainers are usually optional. You can find ways around them, or you can find ways directly through them. In this case, we'll be finding ways directly through them. This is a rock type gym. Newt will pretty much be guiding us through this operation. Standard feature of a first gym. They're oftentimes very easy with starter Pokemon, oftentimes unless you choose the fire type. That's the case in Kanto, it's the case in Hoenn, it's the case in Sinnoh, and those are the games that matter. In Gen 5, they made it so that you're pretty much invincible no matter what, because you get a, a, a diff you're you required to get a type that will counter the gym leader uh, through the Pan Sage, Pan Poor, Pan Seer line of Pokemon. But that's not important. Right now, we need to focus here on Generation 3 and Roxanne's Rustboro City Gym. Uh, we're going to continue to switch train Ralts because uh, we're able to do that uh, fairly efficiently. Uh, I will try not to leave the gym uh, and once I'm in the gym. That's sort of a, a rule that um, people use when doing the Pokemon uh, Iron Mon challenge, where when you enter the gym, you're in the gym until you lose the battle or win the battle. And I'm going to try and follow that rule as well, just to minimize me you know, running in, running out, trying to cheat the system at all. Uh, we're going to see another Geodude. We will, I guess, not switch out Newt because I clicked the wrong option. Uh, my fault. We'll just use an Absorb uh, and be done. Use an Absorb and be done. There we go. We fainted the Geodude. Very, very cool. Very, very rad. Newt, 147, almost level 13. And we can continue forth after this. If we go up a little further, you can already see Roxanne. This gym is not technically the hardest one ever, mostly because Newt. And Ralts will take a backseat for now. That's okay. The backseat's still a seat. Uh, we will switch out to Newt. Absorb has a ton of power points, so I'm not even concerned about losing my power points on that. Ooh, do take a bit of damage though. Maybe it is wise for me to heal. Nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, let's be honest. I'm not concerned. Especially when we can heal back to full. We're golden. Ralts gets 73, Nuke gets 73, which means Nuke grows to level 14. Very cool. A Geodude, we will switch Ralts out, or Ralts in, Nuke out, and then do the swap once again. Alright, little Ralts. Baby, baby Ralts. Another level 8 Geodude. The rock type is a fairly standard first gym type, as I was explaining uh, earlier, with it being in Kanto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. Um, Brock, of course, being the iconic rock type user in the Pokemon television show, although he kind of broke that as he progressed in his Pokemon journey. Kind of stopped using rock types, actually. He got a Blissey, he got a Krogunk. What happened to that guy? All right, our challenge is almost over. We just have to walk up here and face Roxanne. All right, quick sip of water, and we're ready to face Roxanne. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle, and with which with which Pokemon? Roxanne, could you say clearer sentences, please? Here we have Roxanne, Leader Roxanne. In fact, she will lead with a level 12 Geodude. We're starting with Ralts, because we're confident in our switch training abilities. Alright, I will not be switch training Ralts throughout this battle though. Um, we're gonna pretty much be sticking here with, with Newt, 
especially since she has the very deadly Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb will be her signature move. Generally, Pokemon gym leaders will have a signature move. Spoiler alert, it's usually the TM they give you at the end of the battle. These signature moves... Holy buckets! You know what? We might actually switch... Ooh, actually, no, we're not going to because she has an ace. Uh, we'll switch out for this Geodude, but when she sends her ace, we'll keep we'll keep Newt in. Um, yeah, gym leaders give you a TM after every battle, and generally the TM that they give you is their their uh, special move. Okay, we will switch out now another level 12 Geodude into our level 14 Newt. So we should be able to survive this as well, assuming it's another Rock Tomb. Uh, it's important to note that Rock Tomb lowered our speed, but the switch out actually uh, uh, got rid of that debuff. Uh, stat changes do not exist when you switch a Pokemon out of battle. It is not stored in their like battle memory or anything. Uh, so our, our, our speed went back to normal, not reduced, once we switched Newt out. Newt's... 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 Ralt's leveled up, and Newt is still in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep Newt in for the Nose Pass. Nose Pass is going to be her Ace. Ace is the term used for the most powerful Pokemon in the battle. Notice how Nose Pass is level 15. The previous Pokemon were level 12 each. Nose Pass shouldn't be too tricky. We ooh, we got a critical. That's cool too. And we are still hanging on with. Uh, Oh, I thought, that, I thought our nose pass was shiny for a second. No, it was holding an orange berry. That is why you would want to hold an orange berry uh, in in your hands because it applies as soon as you drop below the HP threshold. Uh, yeah, nose pass. We should be going through him fairly quickly. Did use a harden, and we're seeing the potion. Gym leaders generally have uh, a set amount of healing items. Right now, it's potions. In the future, it will get to be a lot stronger, full restores, that sort of thing. We are beginning to run a little low on our our PP for for absorb. How low is low? 9 of 20. There's the second potion. Really farming them now, aren't you, Roxanne? Is that what the trainer school taught you? Spam potions? Stall the battle? That's not cool. She should learn better. It's fine though, we'll be fine. We're taking damage, we're restoring it with Absorb. I would switch to using Quick Attack, but like I said earlier, we did see a Harden from the Nose Pass, which increases its physical defense, but does not touch its special defense one single bit. So we are golden to keep using Absorb. Uh, it's truly the best strategy we have here, except for right now when it has just the little teeniest bit of health, a Quick Attack will be fine. A Quick Attack will not be fine. We should have used Absorb again. We will, we will make up for our mistake right now by using Absorb. Really bulky, if not being hit by a super effective move. And we got a critical hit. Very well done, Newt. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Down goes the Nose Pass. Newt gains a lot of EXP to get to level 15. And level 15 and a half, actually. So, I lost. It seems I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. We get 1500 for winning. Battle closes. Alpha received the Stone Badge from Roxanne. That's our first Gym Badge of the Hoenn region. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move Cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. We get TM39. Can anyone guess what TM39 is? That technical machine, TM39, contains Rock Doom. It not only inflicts damage dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to your Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Thank you very much, Roxanne. If we go to the uh, player section here, our trainer card, we can see our badges. We now have one badge. Our reverse side has nothing. Very, very cool. With that, we have completed the Rustboro City Gym. We can chat with our friend down here. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheers must have been working. Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. It does. Thanks for asking. Alright. Rustboro City, all done and dusted. Or is it? Get out! Out of the way! Huh. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! 
That yeah, sucks to suck. I'm gonna go heal. Later. No, just kidding. That is the follow-up conflict to Rust Poro City. We uh, cannot simply stand by as someone gets their goods stolen. We're gonna go recover their goods. If you couldn't see, that was a Team Aqua Grunt. And we know what Team Aqua Grunts are up to. No good. That's a pun, because he stole the goods. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalburg Woods! Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua! I have to get the Devon goods back! If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Alright, alright, alright. Route 116, we're here again. And you remember Route 116? It was a good time, Route 116. Yes, yes, it was. And we need to begin working our way uh, towards the, uh, the eastern edge of Route 116. We gotta repel. Repels uh, disable Pokemon encounters uh, for a short duration. There are several levels to repels. I will probably be using a lot of them in this playthrough. Funnily enough, when I used to play Pokemon when I was very, very young, I would not use repels like at all. I would just battle Pokemon and level them up through wild encounters. It was actually pretty crazy. I. <laughs> they. <laughs> We got Synchronize. That's Ralt's ability, by the way. So now we're all poisoned. Aren't you happy, Wormpole? Are you happy now? Um, I would uh, do this thing where I would trade over a Pikachu to every Pokemon game that I could possibly play. And then I would take the Pikachu to the daycare center and just mass breed Pichus. And I would want to play like Ash Ketchum from the Pokemon television show. And so I would like... Uh, I would take these Pikachu, and I would level them up, I'd give them Iron Tail, Volt Tackle, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt, which was Ash's moveset in Sinnoh, and I would, uh, I would totally level them to, like, level 60, level 70, just off of, like, Elite Four and Wild Pokemon. I wouldn't even, like, do gyms or anything. And then as soon as it got, like, too high in levels, I would toss it in the Pokebox, and find it and, and start and run it back, start a different one. It was crazy. I had so many Pikachu, and I'd always make them, if it was a female Pikachu, I would release it, because Ash, Ash's Pikachu was a male. That's actually where my love for Sceptile originated, fun fact. Um, but Sceptile was one of Ash's Pokemon when he went through the Hoenn region, and so I adapted that as well. Fun little factoid. This has been Fun Factoids about my previous Pokemon playing adventures. I hope to bring you more in the coming videos. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see those. Ooh, critical hit. Good job, Newt. Well done, little guy. And there goes Bugcatcher Jose. I lost. I thought I had you. Only I have me. It is worth mentioning now, our screen as we move will begin to get all pixelated. That is due to Ralts' poison effect. Every distortion of the screen is 1 HP worth of damage. Ralts will faint if we do not have enough, uh, enough steps to get to a poison heal in the form of either using an item from our box, or our item from our bag, or going to a Pokemon Center. I believe if Ralts is poisoned and is our last Pokemon, then Ralts will survive the poisoning with 1 HP as a way for the game to not, like, lock you in a place where you have to full faint. Uh, because that would be a little bit uncool, if I do say so myself. Hey, another wild Pokemon encounter! Wild Pokemon encounter! Poochyena! No, thank you. We'll be saying- we'll be seeing plenty of Poochyena from other trainers in the game. Trainer tips! Uh, we already read the sign- we read that sign in the last video. How foolish of me. Hey, I'm behind you. I studied school, and I study on the way home too. That's too much school, ma'am, miss. Too much school. School kid Karen. Too much school. Please do less school. Sincerely, me. The college student. Gonna go ahead and let Ralts take care of this battle from start to finish. I have faith in her. She has good damage dealing move, single move, not multiple moves. Uh, she will succeed in her endeavors. 
Endeavor is also a Pokemon move, but I meant endeavors as in actions to be taken. 124, Alta Routes, Ralts, good girl. I'm in shock, I lost. Don't know why I said good girl, that was kind of odd. Gonna continue moving now. Some more trainers hanging out in the area. It's a dead end up here. I'm bored, so can we battle? We may. We may battle. I'll allow it. Mr. Johnson sent out a Shroomish. I have a Ralts, and I think I'm gonna run it back. Ralts, you got this. No way Ralts doesn't have this in the bag. Ooh, and Ralts dodged the Stun Spore. Very cool. By the way, make sure to head to the community section of the channel, the community tab, and uh, leave a name suggestion for Ralts. If you have one, make sure you write it in. There's probably some over right now. I don't know. I haven't checked because I'm recording this in advance. I don't know what people will say, but they might say cool stuff. We'll have to see. Ralts will also take down a low tad, probably. Maybe less quickly, but still should be able to. Astonish, we should probably switch. Unless this confusion does massive damage. Yeah, we could try. You know what? I'll have faith in you, Ralts. Ralts, I believe in you. I believe in you. It was wise to believe in you. Hopefully. I don't know. Don't count my chickens before it hatches. We're good. Well done, Ralts. 126, all to Ralts, level 11. And learns Double Team. Double Team is a move that raises evasion on a Pokemon. We might keep Double Team on Ralts forever, depending on if it makes sense within the context of Ralts' final moveset, if we have something that a stall would be necessary for. Here we have Hiker Clark sending out a Geodude. A Geodude. We faced plenty of Geodude in today's video already. You'll never guess what our strategy is for dealing with Geodude. That's right, it's using Newt. Switching out, switch training. We see Defense Curl here. Defense Curl and Harden are very similar moves. Both raise the defense of the Pokemon using it. Will not do anything. When Absorb is brought into the question, Absorb is a special attack. Special defense was not affected by his move. There goes Hiker Clark. Gasp, gasp. Losing made me tired. Very sorry to hear that, good sir. We run up here. Another Hiker. We'll rock you hard. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Here we have another Hiker. This is Hiker Devin. Not to be confused with Devin, the corporation. I'm not sure why they did that. I guess this is Devin and Devon is the corporation. O-N versus A-N. Uh, but let's be honest, they're pretty darn similar in terms of how you would pronounce them. Maybe they absolutely ran out of names. I don't know. It couldn't be easy coming up with a bunch of different names for random trainers. Hey, and all the time it took me to, to do that random speech, we beat that Geodude. Newt got 73, Ralts got 73, Newt levels up to level 16, and Pursuit is being learned. Pursuit inflicts bad damage if used on a foe switching out. I will be replacing Pound because we already have Quick Attack. This is a much better leading move if I want to spam A to get through a battle. I could have about to use a Geodude. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just sit through this one. Laziness, mostly. Laziness, mostly. We're going to use Absorb. Don't really want to wait through the switch out animation for uh, Ralts. So we'll just give Newt the XP on this one. Very simple battle. Very, very simple. If you had a Torchic in this stage, I would recommend uh, evolving it and getting a fighting type move on your Pokemon. Speaking of evolution, it is time for Newt to evolve. That's right. Only episode 5 and it's time for our little guy to grow to the next stage. Newt is growing more powerful, stronger, better, and evolving into a Grovile. Congratulations, your Newt evolved into Grovile. Grovile is the next stage of Trico's evolutionary tree. Fury Cutter is also on the docket. Fury Cutter is a bug type move. We'll be replacing Leer. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what I replaced with Pound or what I replaced uh, um, Leer. We got two new moves, 
and we're going to be showing them off a whole ton very soon. The Tunnel's Rest House. Roar! What's going on? I was eating the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. The tunnels filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why I stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon in the uproar. Well, I'd like to use the house, but instead, I think we're just going to have to wait for the next episode, where we will enter the Rustboro Tunnel and see just what that goon is doing in there. We will have to see next time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me, and you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.